up to New Hampshire didn't always look like this. Our vision is to make a truly local beer. <laughs> <laughs> sort of way of life. <laughs> we look like babies. I affectionately call this my Frankenbrewery because I've sort of pieced it together with different components. It's surprising how much we still do the same thing. We do. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't know if that's a good I thing like, or yeah, bad I guess thing, but Annette's still our head brewer. I still do all the marketing and all the social media and all the website stuff. Over a decade since our first visit, Throwback Brewery is not only a place to gather and grab a growler, but it's a must-visit destination for beer lovers, foodies, and families around New England. I remember going to the very first planning board meeting like 13 years ago, and there's like, you guys only have three parking spaces. And we're like, we're that's like, fine. It's fine. Why yeah. do we need more than that? It's yeah. great. We're just going to make some beer. <laughs> Which is so funny, and even this place here, this farm has been, tra we've transformed it every year. People come back and say, wow, I can't believe what you've done. Yeah. Outgrowing their original warehouse space where we visited them back in 2011, Throwback founders Annette Lee and Nicole Carrier bought the old Hobbs Farm in Northampton in 2015. Well, we've purchased the property from the Hobbs family, and they owned it since the know, 1700s. We farm actively probably about two or three acres. Uh, we raise a lot of our own produce um, for the kitchen, um, and we raise some animals. The farm isn't a far drive from their original brew tanks, but it's a far cry from the small nano brewery where they first kick things off. So we have a 15 barrel brew house now from our three barrel. I did not build this one. Yeah, there's like 13 breweries when we started. When we started, yeah. Now it's, it's over 120 in the state or yeah, something like nuts. that. Yeah. And um, I still think we're the only 100% women-owned brewery, yep. but there are definitely a lot of women owners. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a lot of women brewers, which is great. Which it's is great fantastic. To see. Yeah. The more things change, the more some things stay the same. Most of our original recipes, if not all, our core beers, we still make. Hog Happy Hefeweizen, still going strong. Dippity Doo, we brew Fat Alberta once a year. Maple Kiss Sweet Porter was yeah. also on oh, there. Oh yeah, Jalapeno Pilsner, Spicy Bohemian. All those beers we have on tap right yep. now, except yep. for the Fat Alberta. Yeah. A lot of new brews have been added to the tap list. It's fun to adapt. Fruited sours, no one would ever drink that 12 years ago. They're like, oh, what did you give me? My palate, you know? But now people seek them out. The cool thing is, is that we're way more than beer now. We sell, we went from doing spreadsheets and trying to figure out if we can sell like 10 burgers a week. How many sandwiches? Like, how many sandwiches can we sell, sell to satisfy the requirements? Yeah, to like we sell more food than beer yeah. now, uh, and that's due to our, you know our chef Carrie Dahlgren and her amazing staff. It couldn't be. You know, any simpler preparation. You know, when you have such good ingredients, you don't you don't really need to manipulate it as much. I've always been a fan of uh, their beer, so um, when they said that they were purchasing this farm and going to create all this, I said, okay, sure, and they took me over here to see it, and it was still, a, you know, a manky sheep farm. Um, so I was like, okay, you know, I'm, Annette and Nicole have amazing vision, so I trusted them. And sure enough, now we've grown to what you see here um, with a fully working farm, full kitchen. Um, it's, it's really amazing. I just can't help myself. You know, and you have this beautiful property, it's kind of hard not to just show off what it has to offer, right? So, um, no, we quickly I saw that the community wanted a place to come and eat at a family establishment. We have a lot of families that come here, so, and then eventually, I mean, something I never thought I'd do, I have a kid's part of the menu, so, at a brewery. A lot has changed since 2011, but Nicole and Annette's vision has remained remarkably steady. The vision, ultimately for us, isn't to go national, it's to have the brewery on a farm, right? So that's the direction that we'd like to go. <laughs> and it's about like using local, going back to those days of like community oriented yeah. taverns and this notion of community has been so important to the both of us in creating a community space. Although it might seem like mission accomplished, Annette and Nicole aren't good at sitting still and still have big plans for their little brewery that could. 
We're always trying to push the boundaries and make things better, make things more efficient, make things like a happier, more welcoming place for customers, and it's, we're not afraid to try things.